Welcome to our tutorial on creating a talking avatar. No capping guys, this is a popular request on my channel. So in this video, I'll walk you through the steps to bring your digital character to life using simple but yet powerful tools. Um, whether you're looking to start a faceless YouTube channel, just like mine, or maybe you want to personalize your um, presentations or even enhance your online courses, Whatever it is, creating a talking avatar can make a significant impact. So without much say, let's explore how you can easily create and customize your own animated spokesperson. But before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button to join the community. And if you are already a subscriber, you are welcome back. To begin, we'll start with creating the avatar and we'll be using Leonardo AI. It is absolutely free to get started with and its interface is quite intuitive. Now over to Leonardo AI and if you don't have an account, you will need to sign up by clicking on the launch app. So I already have an account and I'm just going to sign in and then you will be brought up to this interface. So you have to pay very close attention. Okay, all right. So this is the Leonardo interface here. And when you scroll through, you will see a plethora of images. These are images people have generated on this platform. And the good thing here is that if you can't come up with a prompt for yourself, you can always use these images as guidance. Okay, so we've got several images here, right? And since we are creating talking avatars, um, if you want something like this, something like this model, you click on it and you use the prompt, okay? So just take your time and go through the images. Like I said, if you don't have a prompt to use, just scroll through and use an existing prompt here. But don't worry, I'm going to give you a prompt to use. And this is the same prompt I used in creating my avatar. And this is another image you can actually model if you want. So I'm just going to scroll through and I hope you get the idea. Let me show you what I mean by using it as an image guide. For instance, let's say we want this lady, um, this image to generate a similar one, right? I'm just going to click on it and then copy this prompt and use it. But like I said, I already have my prompt, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use the backspace. So to begin generating our images, I'm just going to click over here where it says image generation. And I'm just going to tap here and wait for it to come up. You'll be brought up with this interface. And over here, we have the preset. So you have to listen very carefully if you're coming up with your own design, okay? In the preset section, this is where you get to choose your design model. We have the Leonardo Phoenix um, anime. We have the cinematic kino, the concept art, and all of this, okay? I'm just going to show you something really quick. So I will click on this Leonardo Phoenix and then exit this and ensure it's on Leonardo Phoenix. Please leave all of these settings as seen here. Otherwise, you will ruin things. But for the image dimension, um, we'll change it to our preference. The one by one dimension is mostly used for reels. This is the number of images that you can generate once and we'll leave it at four. For now, we're going to leave these advanced settings. We don't need the advanced settings, okay? I'm going to give you a prompt that you're going to use and I'm going to leave it in the description box. So this is where you're going to input your prompt. I'm going to copy and paste in our prompt here. And these are the subjects to change. For example, if you want a character of a man, where it says lady, you can change it to man. And you can even go further to change the adjectives, um, the descriptive verbs and all of that. Importantly, if you want to generate something similar to my avatar, don't change anything. But if you don't want, you can always take off this seed number. OK, and once you are good, you're just going to click on the generate button and wait for it. Amazing. And this is what we've generated. Remember, we use the Leonardo Phaonix, right? So this is the model's output. As you can see, they're all the same image in different styles. And it is true to the prompt. This is one of the best preset models to use. And they are all looking pretty. But I think I want the lady in blue. It is well detailed. So I'm just going to show you something real quick, okay? We're going to change this preset right now. So we're going to come over here and we are going to choose concept art. You can try out all the presets and choose the best suit, okay? And we're still going to use the same prompt. So 
back to the prompt section and click on the generate button and let's see what it comes up with amazing guys so we have it here and as you can see it's looking a bit human and cartoonish so to speak and she has a very nice hair this is another okay she has beautiful hair too and the nails are actually very okay with pretty denim jeans can you imagine i think i'm loving this image so it's up to you to choose what you want okay and this is another you see they are well detailed so you can always choose whatever you want their fingers appeared to be really okay, which used to be a major setback for AI-generated images. You can choose whichever you want, but I think they are all pretty. And I think I like this lady. But one thing I want to do right now is I'm just going to generate another one, but this time we're going to use a different dimension. Remember, this dimension is used for reels. I'm just going to click over here to use the 16 by 9 dimension so we can have a bigger background and you would not need to struggle with the background, okay? I am going to change the seed number, but same prompt, hit the generate button and there you go. Um, This is looking so pretty and I think I love the whole background theme, all right? So now that you know how to generate your own talking avatar, and choosing the right dimension for your video content. Here is how to download the image. All you have to do is just come over here and use the download features. And if you want to generate a motion video, good for you. You can use this button to upscale it, all right? If you need to edit it here, this feature is for you. Then the image guidance feature is used to generate exactly the same image according to your prompt. And you can remove the background with this feature. Having said that, I am going to download this image. Um, that was a hard choice though. They are all pretty images, right? So feel free to play around with this. So now we have our images, okay? The next stage is generating a script for your video. To do that, head over to this website. It is called simplified.com. You can use any AI writing tool of your choice, but Simplified does write a good script. And with Simplified, you can actually do a lot of stuff here. So take your time and check out the platform all for yourself. If you don't have an account, you just have to sign up for free. And if you do, then just sign in. And you have all of these options here. So click on AI Writer because we want to write. Next, I'm just going to scroll down and I'll click on Article Writer to be brought up to this interface. Right here, I'm going to input our topic and information about your topic. And then for the settings, I'm just going to change this professional sound to a friendly or joyful sound. I want it to be more playful. So our topic is how to increase productivity using AI. And that's it, okay? I'm just going to click on generate and then wait for it to do the magic. It said magic in process and there you go. So we've got our article, right? And this is it here. It said, are you tired of feeling overwhelming or consistently feeling behind the walk? It's time to embrace a part of artificial intelligence to increase your productivity and make your life easier. With the help of AI, you can streamline tags, automate and repetitively process, blah, 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 and all of that. So now we have our script and the next thing is um, getting a voiceover, okay? Among the few AI voiceover software I have tried out, Play.ht and Eleven Labs, it is for me. And for this tutorial, we'll go with Play.ht. Over here is the Play.ht website, and this is the pricing model. We have the free plan, the creator plan, and unlimited. The unlimited plan is going for $29, which for me, it's very ideal if you intend to make profit with your talking avatar. But for this tutorial, we will go with the free plan. And with the free plan, you can even um, do the voice cloning, which takes about one minute to get done. I will sign up for a new account. And there you go. Once you sign in, you will be brought up to this interface. Then click on create a new file to begin and choose the newest model, which is Gargamel. You will be brought up to this interface where you get to input your script for a voiceover and you have to pay very close attention here. This is a trick I found super useful when using the platform, okay? If your purpose is um, making a voiceover for children's story, then I suggest that you choose from this audio sample, children's story, or let's say, um, your idea for creating a talking avatar is for a news channel, then you want to go with this sample 
I normally go for the YouTube product review and I hope that you get the idea, okay? So I'm just going to paste in our script here. And one thing I will do is change this voice by clicking on Sarah and then choose pre-made. Now you can choose from the plethora of custom voices or clone your voice. And once you are satisfied with the voice, you click on the confirm button. Alternatively, you can clone your voice by clicking over here on the voice cloning button, which requires just a 30 second recording of your voice. Once you get your sample, you upload it and it only takes about one minute or less to clone your voice. So we are going to use the podcast style. And before you click on the generate speech button, you should have these words added to the script. And this is how it even get to sound more like human. And this is exactly what I just did. It is a simple trick that some persons don't even know. So once you are done, just click on it to generate. Having generated your voiceover, you click over here to export your audio as a single audio file. Easy peasy, right? So now that we have our voiceover, the next step is to make our avatar, which is the most exciting part for me. And if you are getting any value from this tutorial, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now that we have our script ready, this will lead us to the next step, which is creating our talking avatar. And we'll be using um, DID. I will leave the links to all the websites mentioned in my description box for easy access. So head over to DID.com and create an account if you don't have one. And I am just going to log in and will be presented with this interface. Click on create a video. And here is where you get to um, upload your avatar. And once you do, it will appear here. Click on the avatar. Now click on script. You can paste in your script here and use their inbuilt voiceover AI. But we already have our voiceover, right? Now, I will click on audio and upload it. And the good news is you can even upload a long audio file. Now I am going to click on the generate video button. And here you go, our video is ready and click on download to have to download on your device. And that is it. Easy peasy, right? Now we have created a video using our AI avatar and right now the video seems um, ordinary. It's just an avatar talking about our content. Now to make it more engaging and interesting for the audience, we can add some effects and transitions to our video. And this will be the final step, which is editing the video. Now there are many video editors editing tools available on the internet, but I know a very famous tool called CapCut, which makes editing a whole lot easier. You can add all sorts of effects, um, transitions, auto-generated subtitles and more. This is one of my favorite editing tools and it's completely free. Now you have the choice to either use the CapCut app by downloading it here or edit online, which I would rather do. Once you click on the CapCut online link in my description box, you will be brought up to this interface. Now use any of the upload buttons on either side and get it uploaded. Having done that, we will start editing our video by clicking on the video to have it on the timeline. So first, let's add some effects to the beginning of the video. So just go to effects, then click here and you will get different effects to choose from. I'm going to select opening and closing. You can just choose the one you want. I'll go with this one. So let's click on it and it will be added here. Once you have done that, let's just play it and see how it looks. With the help of AI, you can streamline tasks. You can see that we have the blur effect at the beginning of our video. Next, let's say you want to insert a video in between videos to make it more engaging. So all you have to do is click on element and go search for the video you want using keywords and ours will be artificial intelligence. Then drag it down to the timeline. As you can see, the video length is quite long, right? I will just reduce it. And there you go. Next, let's say we want to add transitions. Just go to transition and here you will get different transitions to choose from. But before then, click on the area you want to um, transition and split it. OK, then just select the one you want, then drag it and drop it into your video and it's done. And you can add different transitions wherever you want. You can even zoom out your timeline to help you work better. OK, and if you want to add text or something, just come over here and click on it. So I will just go with the social media animation, click on it and adjust it to my desired position. 
easy peasy, right? But before I show you the final outcome of this video, let's add a sound effect. Now, to add sound effects, um, background music effects and background music to our video, come over here and click on audio, then choose sound effects. The recommended sound effects are the most used frequently by other creators, so feel free and play with it. Then select the one you want by clicking on it. And this is the same way you can also get background music. Now, let's see what our video looks like. With the help of AI, you can streamline tasks uh, automate repetitive processes, and free up more time to focus on the important things. So let's dive into how you can harness the magic of AI. To Finally, let's add subtitles to our video. Okay, I have come to realize that adding subtitles to videos even makes them more engaging. To do this, click on caption, then choose auto caption. I will leave it in English as the language, then generate and wait for it to propagate. Okay, if you look closely, our caption is without style which looks so boring, right? To bring this to life, um, come over here and click on preset. You can use style for your caption. Just try out which is best for you, but I mostly go with template. Just click on any of the template styles and you will have your caption style changed. Can you see how easy it is to use CapCut? So, to download your video, click on the export button and then download. Voila, you did it. So now that we have finished editing our video, before I play the full video, if you find this tutorial super helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And there you go. With the help of AI, you can streamline tasks, uh, automate repetitive processes, and free up more time to focus on the important things. So let's dive into how you can harness the magic of AI to supercharge your productivity, okay? First things first, let's talk about task management. Um, with AI-powered tools like Asana and Trello, you can create to-do lists, set deadlines, and prioritize tasks with ease. These tools can also recommend tasks based on your workload and help you stay organized and on track. So, say goodbye to sticky notes and um, endless email chains and say hello to a more efficient way of managing your tasks.